done. I'm Harry MTG, here today with my two regular co-hosts. We're at Gab and Pat. Well, I guess you'll have to watch the midweek metagame podcast to find out. Sponsored by Card Market. Well, well, well. Why do I feel compelled to say that three times? Hey everyone, and welcome to another video of the Card Market Feature Match. I'm Harry MTG here, joined by Yemen. How's it going? This week, once again, we're facing off in Modern, but before we get into the games, Carl isn't here this week, but he's still basically holding a gun to my head, asking you guys to subscribe and like the video, so uh, please go down there and do that. Yeah, and while you're there, don't forget we're playing your deck list today. So if you want us to play your deck on the next video, then comment it down below and we'll pick our favorite ones. Yeah, for now, I'm excited to find out what you picked for this week. Ooh, we're going to have to see. It's a good one, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this week I get to play one of my favorite decks in Modern, which is Humans. One of the YouTube comments asked for us to play the deck, and I've played with it so much, I even once qualified for the Magic Online Championship with it. So today's Humans list kind of look a bit different from what they used to look like, some years ago. I'm playing Ragavan because that card is simply too good to pass up for any aggro deck and I'm also playing Teferi for additional disruption. Besides those cards, the main pieces of the deck are still the same. You're playing Aether Vial and Cavern of Souls to get around counter spells, to build up a beefy champion of the parish and then swing with a huge board of creatures. The deck also got a great new addition from Innistrad Midnight Hunt, which is Adeline, who creates a new 1-1 attacking human token whenever I attack, buffing up my champions even more. Okay, so a lot of you have been suggesting modern decks in the comment section, so obviously I had to go with 4-color control. This is my favorite deck in the format right now, so to break it down, you're basically playing Omnath and the Modern Horizons 2 Elementals in Solitude, Fury and Endurance in the sideboard. Now we are a control deck, so we're playing a load of removal, and we're also playing big planeswalkers to gain value for not only the mana from Omnath, but also keeping the board clear from all our removal spells. Then we are control, we do have counter spells, we do have force of negation to top it off to make sure that we can interact with our opponent if they are playing some non-creature threats. So, Harry, you've never been in the card market studio before. I haven't, it's pretty sick. I, I like <laughs> the uh, very bougie light, but I'm excited to play some modern today. All right, uh, let's get to it. All right, but before we look at our opening hands, we might want to roll some dice. Yeah, definitely. Are you done for that? Yep. All right, let's see. Six, that's Ooh. below average. That's already off to a bad start. Six, okay. Oh, Five. <laughs> it's just getting worse. Oh, off the table. Uh, all right. Three, there right, you go. I'll go first. Okay, I have to reveal my companion. Uh, that's a strong one. Begins. Kahira. Actually, it's, it's probably not a strong one. Like, that was just a smack talk. Oof, this is this is a spicy hand, Harry. But I'll keep this one. This hand is looking great. It just has one problem. It only contains one land. But hopefully, Aether Vial or Ragavan can fix that. Same here. I like my hand. I'm going to keep. All right. This hand is really powerful in the blind. Not only do I have Force of Negation and Counterspell to interact if my opponent is playing some sort of non-creature deck, but I've got Prismatic Ending. This card's really flexible, can exile any non-land permanent, and then I've got Teferi to bounce anything as well if it's annoying. Three lands, consistent land drops, let's keep it and see what Yamin is playing. Harry, this is a first timer for me. I, I haven't been playing a lot of Modern recently, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll, I'll crack my fetch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get myself a Sacred Foundry, dealing myself two more damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is this going? Uh, uh, this is the first time I'm ever casting a Ragavan on turn oh, one. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and yep. then I'll pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw for turn. I'll pass the turn. I'm on Ragavan here because that gives me the highest chance of actually connecting and getting a treasure. The Aether Vial can still tick up later on. It's tough to be on the draw here because I really want to try on with this hand, but we're just going to have to fetch Hollowed Fountain so I can Prismatic Ending this Ragavan and also hold up Counterspell on turn two. Okay, I'm also going to play a Flooded Strand and fetch and shock down oh. to 17. All right, 17 each. With a Hollowed Fountain. Can you guess what one mana spell I'm casting? No, don't do it. I wanted to attack with my Ragavan for once. <laughs> I'm going to pay one white to mm. cast Prismatic no, Ending. Oh, that's rude. Your Ragavan. All right. Awesome, now it's your go. All right. On tap, and I'll take a draw. Unfortunately, my Ragavan is gone, but this is much better than that Aether Vial being gone, because without a second land, that could have been really bad. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate that you got rid of my Ragavan, mm -hmm. but I do have another one, a CMC permanent, that I really like to stick around. Ooh, I'll go Aether. with an Aether Vial. I think in response, I'm going to... 
Okay, this Aether Vial is pretty confusing. I could either pitch the Counterspell, I could pitch the Teferi, pitch the Iteration. I'm not really sure what to go for, but I'm going to go for the Counterspell, as they are an Aether Vial deck, and I feel like there's more creatures to come, and I'm going to be tapping out a lot to either bounce with the Teferi or gain some card advantage with Iteration. Let's hope this pays off. I'm going to cast Force of Negation, pitch and Counterspell. All right, all right. Um... I don't get to keep a single permanent, even even in my graveyard, it's all just exiled. <laughs> um, I'll crack a second fetch land though. Uh huh. And I'll even go down to 14 doing it. Sure. I literally have no clue what you're playing right now. Oh, you, you might have a clue now, because I'll, I'll cast a champion of the parish. Oh, okay, fine. Go ahead. How do, how do you like the synergy between Ragavan and champion? Like, <laughs> I guess here I'm just gonna take a simple line and play tap once they go. All right, I'll untap. I'll take a draw. So I have to decide between Teferi and Thalia here, but I'm gonna go with Teferi to be mana efficient. Well, I'll, I'll try to head into the red zone. Okay. Pitch for one. I take one. And I'll follow that up with Sunbaked Canyon. That pings me. Mm -hmm. Down to 13. And I'll try to resolve a Teferi. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, and I'll uptake that to ferry for now. Mm -hmm. And pass the turn. I will untap and I will draw. I think I'm going to do this for all my uh, fellow commenters out there because I know they like value, so I'm going to go to 13. <laughs> I think this is probably one of the most uh, beautiful plays, as many would say. In... That, that scares me. That, that makes me feel like I messed up. You haven't messed up, but I think you'll <laughs> definitely feel some pain. I will get a steam vents. And with a red and green oh, mana. Okay. A red and green mana. I will cast a red and six. And I will try minus Oof. one targeting your champion of the parish. Yeah, that, that happens. That's some value. All right, I, I was afraid of some ephemerate shenanigans or something, but all right, that's also pretty bad. Yeah, and that's it for me. Actually, that's real bad. The more I think about it, the worse it becomes. <laughs> Whew, I'm, I'm terribly lucky today. This feels unfair. Lucky. Um, lucky, okay. yes. I'll start by lightning bolting your Ren 6. Mm -hmm. That lightning bolt was clutch. If I didn't draw that lightning bolt, this Renin 6 would have just taken over the entire game. I couldn't have developed my board. And then I'll take one down to 12 to cast a Thalia. Ooh. And pass the turn. I will untap and I will draw. Guess it only makes sense to pay four mana because of Thalia, I will cast my own Teferi. All right. And uh, obviously I will bounce the Thalia to draw a card. Then it's your go. All right, so now we're just playing at sorcery speed. Just playing the game as Richard Garfield intended. Actually, no, I don't think he intended it that way. Um, playing Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Harry and I are just kind of trading blows here, but I'm the aggro deck. I don't like this game slowing down. I'll minus three to Ferry to draw a card. Yep. I'll cast a champion of the parish mm -hmm. and follow that up. Going on to 11. Yep. With the Thalia you already knew about. Yep. And then that's your turn. Untap, draw. I should just start by plusing to fairy. Nothing else I can really do with it. Hmm. But now I have decisions. Using a sweet little trick, I'm gonna cast prismatic ending. No. <laughs> X is zero, but I'm paying an extra for Thalia, and I'm obviously casting yeah. for two colors. So this is an interaction that probably only experienced modern players know from engineered explosives. But with prismatic ending, it's an X spell, and X is not the converted mana cost. That's just what you can pay for it. So obviously, I'm gonna pay two colors. I'm gonna pay white, and then I'm gonna play green for the extra cost from Thalia. So that means I can pay two mana instead of three in order to exile it. Then. I'm gonna gain a bit of value and cast. Hmm. Is it smart to make my land drop first here? 
You know what? I think it is. I'm gonna play an island first. And then play expressive iteration. Oh wow, that's a play you don't off see often, right? But I want to I I top deck a prismatic. Uh, your ending. third one? Yeah. Come on. Let's hope that this gamble doesn't pay off for Harry because another prismatic ending would be devastating. <laughs> Did you find three lands? Oh no. <laughs> I'll put this into my hand. What are you this gonna exile, on Harry? Bottom, and I'll exile a misty rainforest. What, why aren't you playing that card, Harry? Um, <laughs> look. I, if I had a prismatic ending, that would be sick, okay? <laughs> it I, would be. Okay, I've done everything that I can do. I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Take my upkeep and draw. All right, I'll start my turn off by plussing the Teferi. Yep. And then I'll take another one, uh, yep. going down to 10. Yep. Off the Sunbeck Canyon. Casting mm -hmm. an Adeline. Ooh. Now what she does, she's from Midnight Hunt, and she has Vigilance, and her power is equal to the number of creatures I control, so currently two, not too much, but whenever I attack, not necessarily with her, just, just attack, oh, for yeah? each opponent I get to create a 1-1 one -one human token that attacks you or a Planeswalker you control. That's not very fair. Uh, I don't know. It's modern, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, my champion gets a counter, yeah. and then I'll swing at your Teferi with my champion, yeah. generating another human token, Swing at you, which also grows up my champion. Ooh, well, I can't do much about that, so Teferi dies and I take one. Yep. Go to 12. Yep. And that's my turn. Well, you thought that I was going to be mana efficient, but I actually get to cycle this lonely sandbar. Big flex. Full, f making full use of your mana. <laughs> I can't say anything about that. I will untap and I will draw. I think... Uh... I think I'm pretty dead. I'm just gonna brainstorm here and hope for the world. Well then, I guess I will start my turn. By casting a Jace the Mind Sculptor. That's a strong card. Well, it is if my hand was strong. I'm gonna have to <laughs> brainstorm. Draw three. Oh my. Okay, here I guess I should. Put back these two, play my fetch land, and say go. You're passing the turn, Harry. Yeah. That doesn't bode well. I think uh, with Teferi on the board, there's not much I can really do. All right, I'm, uh, I'm excited for this turn. All right, let's see how this goes. Um, I'll play Cavern of Souls, naming human. Yeah. Um, Rendering your counter spells even more useless than they already are in the yep. face of this Teferi. So Thalia's Lieutenant has really good ability when it enters the battlefield, and I can bounce my own creatures with Teferi. I'll cast the Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh my. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yep. Uh, so this resolves. So first of all, this gets a counter because this is a human. Yeah. And then all of my humans get a counter. Yep. So this, this, and this one, they yep. all get counters. And now Teferi has this nice little ability oh, where, where, I can, <laughs> where I can uh, return yeah. this creature to my hand and draw a card. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take another point of damage of that Sunbeg Canyon. Yeah. But I'll recast this Lieutenant. Yeah. Yep. So all of these get additional counters. Yep. Yep. And then I'll move into attacks. Yep. And swing at you. You don't want to attack the Jace? No, I, I, may, maybe I should. No, actually, I, I'm going to swing at you. <laughs> okay. Getting another human token. Yeah. Uh, so my champion of the parish gets another counter, as well as this lieutenant, but we don't have any dice on the table anymore. Yeah. And I think that's lethal. Uh, <laughs> so lethal, you forgot this as vigilance. Oh, so you got lethal. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into the next game, we just got to take some time to thank Karma Crow, the sponsor of this video. Without them, this entire series wouldn't be possible because they lend us all the cards we need for the gameplay videos. It's crazy. Their inventory is huge. If you want all your cards in one order shipped to you within like three days in Europe, usually. Uh, yeah, just go to Karma Crow. They have basically all the cards you could need in their inventory. Awesome, yeah. Thanks again to Karma Crow for sponsoring this video and providing the cards. But why don't we just get into the next game? Okay, sideboarding this matchup, super straightforward. They play Aethervile, they play Teferi Time Raveler. Let's get rid of all those dead draws. Why did we lose game one? Because we topped a Counterspell Force. So let's get rid of all our four Counterspells, all our three Force and Negations, and let's get in all the removal spells. I'm gonna board in two Fury, two Endurance, while Endurance doesn't seem great, it's a 3-mana three 3-4 three, reach. can block creatures like Mantis Rider and also just get things like Thalias that are really annoying. I'm going to board an Engineered Explosives and Celestial Purge as well. We do all the removal spells. And the last card I think people might be confused by is Mystical Dispute. 
Not only has Yaman shown me to Fairy Time Raveler, but there's also cards in the deck like Meddling Mage, Mantis Rider, and also some potential cyborg cards that will be annoying for me that I'll have to deal with. Yes, they play Cavern of Souls, but this Mystical Dispute here is for the Teferi Time Raveler, and I would rather have a cheaper counterspell in my deck than Force of Negation or Counterspell itself. So I'm taking out three Meddling Mages because with all of Harry's removal, they feel like random tutus that just die. And instead, I bring in three targets for the Imperial Recruiter for me to search out. Lavinia is good because it prevents any evoke shenanigans from Solitude or Fury. Kira is really good because it prevents all of the spot removal in his deck, and Magus of the Moon, well, Harry's playing a four color deck. There's lots of non-basics to hate. Okay, done sideboarding? Done. Okay, well as a good magic player, I should reveal my companion again. You didn't sideboard it in? That's no, I didn't. crazy, Harry. Or I didn't board in anything like Snapcaster Mage. Maybe. Anyways, I will take the play as I did lose. All right, good luck. Thank you. This hand is pretty good, I'm gonna keep. Okay, this hand is literally perfect. I got two lands in the expressive iteration, so I'm not really concerned about hitting my third land drop. I've got two solitudes, I can deal with a Ragavan on turn one, Supreme Verdict for the late game, and also a Mystical Dispute, the cheeky cyborg card, see if I can snipe it to Fairy Time Raveler. This hand is medium, but I'll keep as well. Awesome. All right, I once again have a turn one Ragavan. Maybe this time it can get a hit in. No chance. <sighs> okay, well, as a control player, I'll start with the tap wave. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh... To take my draw, and I feel dirty again. No. Uh, down to 19. No. Casting a Ragavan. <sighs> That's not fair. It, it truly isn't, and I don't understand how this is a legal play. Go ahead. Anything else? Nothing else? Because that's clearly good enough. Ooh. That was a pretty good draw. Um, I guess I will just play. And say go. I'll untap, I'll draw, and I will try to take a hit at you. Well, luckily, I have Solitude pitching Solitude. The Solitude combo. <laughs> yeah, that's why we play, obviously, our Exile Ragavan, and you gain two life going to 21. Yep, 21, Ragavan's gone, that rhymed, and I will take two off this Steam Vents. And team? Going out to 18 yep. to cast an overcosted Champion of the Parish. Oh, wow. Playing a Thalia's Lieutenant without any other creatures on the board feels really weak. Go ahead. I will fetch a Triumph on your end step. This is one thing I hate about papers. I always have to search for my Oh, fetches. yeah. <laughs> on Magic Online, it's just click. Click, 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 yeah. click, click, click. <laughs> Until you misclick. I misclicked <laughs> the wrong Triumph and everything. Ugh. But I will now take my turn. Yep. Tap, tap and draw. Well, this game, luckily, I'm not going to make my land drop before casting Expressive Iteration. All right. So. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Is it, is it three spells this time around? <laughs> um, I guess I will put... <laughs> I guess I will put this into my hand, this on the bottom of my deck, and Jace into exile. Okay. <laughs> and then I will uh, play a land and say go. All right. I'll untap, and I'll take a draw. I'll play a Sunbaked Canyon, mm -hmm. and I'll take two. Oh my. Yeah. And I'll cast an Adlin once again. Yep. That resolves. All yep. right. Uh, in that case, this lieutenant gets a counter. Yep. And then a little attack. Yep. Generating a human token, yep. which generates another counter. That's what you call a combo, and it's you're down to 16. Good. No, actually, uh, 15. Yep. And that's my turn. I guess I will go to 14. I will get a temple garden. Those greedy mana bases. Greedy, but it's working. Greedy, but it's working. I will draw. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna play Flooded Strand and fetch Basic Island, going to 13. Yep. Then as the uh, control player I am, after finishing shuffling, I'm gonna tap four mana. It's not for a Planeswalker, it's for a Supreme Verdict. Such a mean card. Yeah. And uh, that will be it for my turn. They're all gone. 
All right, I'll go into mine. Mm -hmm. Untap, take my draw. I'm, I'm just gonna hurt myself a lot today with these lands. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm going down to 13, fetching. Oh no. Well, I say, oh no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a Hallowed Fountain. All right, I'm gonna take one more. Yep. So down to 12. Mm -hmm. Cast an Imperial Recruiter. Yep. Get myself a Ragavan and cast that one too. So I'm down to 11. Sure. Yikes. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, I will start with expressive iteration. All right. A nice expressive iteration. Okay, finally a good expressive iteration. <laughs> the first one of today. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this into my hand. This on the bottom of my deck and Stomping Ground into Exile. All right. I will obviously play my Stomping Ground tapped. I will pay one white mana to exile the Ragavan. No Ragavan is allowed to stick around. And then I'll say go. All right, I'll untap. Mm -hmm. uh, take my draw. Mm -hmm. I'll swing it through for one. Ouch. Down to 12 and then I'll Go down to 10, casting Akira. Anyone in the comment section who doubted me, I'm going to mystical dispute that. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> oh, wow. Take that comment section of YouTube. Yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I will untap and I will draw. Okay, decisions. Well, you're on 10, so I think I should just take the aggressive line. No, please don't. And just Fury. All right. Deal four damage to this guy. Yep. Then I'll say go. Feels a bit overkill, but still. <laughs> um, that thing has double strike. Yep. That's no joke. Reflector Maging Fury really doesn't feel like a good play, but I kind of have to do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can let that stick around for too long, so I'm, I'm going to Reflector Mage, Ooh. going down to nine. Okay. Feels a bit bad putting that one back into your head, but let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I will untap and I will draw. And I will say go. All right, all right. I, I like that. I like the sound of that. Um, untap, upkeep, draw. I'll take one. Mm -hmm. Damn, the Sunbait Canyon <laughs> went too much Down work. To eight. <laughs> Casting to Fairy. In response, I will cast Solitude. Yep. So this one gets exiled. At least I get back some life. <laughs> yeah, go to 10. Go to 10. So then the fairy enters the battlefield. Yep. And I will plus the Teferi and say go. Okay. Untap, drop. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna go to combat. Sure. And I'll attack you. Um, yeah, I can't let that happen. Down to nine. Ooh. Yep. And I'll lightning bolt the solitude. Sure. Nice. And I will cast the Fury. Yep. And dealing four damage to your Teferi. It's down to one. Then I'll say go. I, I don't see this ending well for me, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh boy. Um. I'll plus this to fairy. Yep. I'll go down to eight again. Mm -hmm. I'll cast the Mantis Rider and swing at you for three. I go to nine. And I'll pass the turn. Okay, untap, draw. Actually, I will go to combat. Sure. I'll attack for six. Yeah. Take it. Down to two. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, then I'll cast a Fairy Time Reveler. Uh, that's a good card. Um, sure, that resolves. I'll draw a card, bouncing nothing. All right. Okay. 
Then I will cast Celestial Purge on your Mantis Rider. Yep. It's all excellent. the sideboard cards. Then it's your go. All right. On tap. Uh, and I'll take a draw. I'll plus this to Fairy. Mm -hmm. A Lightning Bolt and Fury. Mm -hmm. And I'll cast Athalia. Going to one. Ooh. Go ahead. I don't see how this could go wrong. Go on. Being on one. Well, you call me a control deck, but really I'm going to be a burn deck today. <laughs> no! So I'm going to cast Ren in six, and I will minus one totally game. Damn. I got you. Yeah, good game. Good game. <laughs> For game three, I'm bringing in Sanctum Prelate. I'm not entirely sure about it, but it does prevent Jace and Supreme Verdict if I put it on X equals four. We'll see. Harry, yep. it's time for me to take the play again. And it's time for me to reveal Kahira again, even though I'm yet to put it into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, it just seems like a wasted sideboard slot, Harry. Not to throw too much shade at Kahira. Luckily, I'm a net decker, so I'll just blame whoever designed the deck. I will keep this hand. So this hand is okay. It just has one issue. It's kind of land heavy, especially with that ether vial. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mulligan. All right. Okay, this hand is really not good. We've got two lands, we've got a load of clunky spells that I can't cast, and no removal spell for a turn one Ragavan. This hand sucks, ship it back. We need some sort of interaction at least on turn two. Okay, let's hope for a better seven, I guess, with the London mulligan. Yeah, it's so weird calling it a seven because you do draw seven cards, but then like you, you do only play with six. That's a really good seven, and I just got a bottom this card and it's perfect. All right. Okay, this hand is pretty good. While we don't have a prismatic ending or solitude to deal with a fast rag event, we do have Celestial Perch to get rid of one, as well as we have Teferi Time Raveler to bounce annoying creatures, as well as an Omnath. Let's bottom the second Teferi, keep the three lands, remove the spell, and Omnath. All right, I'm gonna start off mm -hmm. with an Inspiring Vantage mm -hmm. and an Aether Vial. Sure. All right, I like that. <laughs> Go ahead. I will draw. I'm playing the Aether Vial here. I don't even have a one drop to put in next turn. So if Harry plays Prismatic Ending on it, I'm actually kind of happy that it traded for another card. Um, guess we should start, start things off simple, land go. Off simple, land go. We'll put a counter on this. Yeah. Take a draw and play Cavern of Souls, naming a human. Oof, yep. Casting a Thalia. Hopefully this Thalia can disrupt Harry a bit and they'll pass the turn. I will fetch and get a nice, nice triome. Don't tell me it's at the top. No way. Oh. Well, I started looking on the wrong side of the deck. Classic. Okay, the triome enters the battlefield tapped, and I'll take my turn, untap, draw. Hmm. So here, some may think about shocking to hold up Mystical Dispute for a Teferi Time Raveler. But don't forget, Thali has a two-sided effect. Their Teferi Time Raveler costs four mana. So there's no point shocking here. Play the tap land, play patient. Yeah, I will just play my land tapped. You're good. I'll take up this Aether Vial. Yeah. Take my draw. I will swing at you for two. No, no effects, 17. And then I'll play An Arid Mesa, fetch for three. Mm -hmm. no. Actually, I changed my mind, Harry. I'm only mm -hmm. going to fetch for one. I'm, I'm getting a planes. Okay, you gain two life on my life pad. Get a 19. <laughs> and then I will cast an uncounterable Imperial Recruiter. You got it. Which will... Get myself a Magus of the Moon. Okay. Well, that, that's it for now, Harry. Go ahead, take your take your last turn with non-basics. I will untap and draw. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will play my fetch land. Yep. And I will say go. All right, I'll untap. And during my upkeep, mm -hmm. I'll take up this ether vial mm -hmm. and then I'll take my draw. Mm -hmm. 
I'll tap you for that. <laughs> I guess a response I will surprisingly fetch. Go to 16 and get a basic island. Oh, Alright. Then I will also... What I need to hope is that Yaman messes up so that I can float white mana in order to Celestial Purge the Magus of the Moon after it hits the table. Float a white mana. So Harry just floated one white mana in response to me tapping that Aether Vial. That's kind of suspicious. That smells like a white removal spell. So I'm just gonna not put anything in and then switch phases and then I'm gonna cast an uncounterable Magus of the Moon which should then resolve, leaving Harry without white mana. Sure, um... Harry, why are you a good player? This is annoying, I hate <laughs> playing against good players. All right, um, I'll, I'll uh, move to combat. Yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'll hit, hit you for three. Yeah, I go to 13. Uh, then I'll play another Cavern of Souls, mm -hmm. naming Pirate. Mm -hmm. Then I'll cast an uncounterable Magus of the Moon. Yeah. And then I'll cast an uncounterable Ragavan. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I'm in such a bad spot here. This board is full of creatures. I have to top deck something here. Okay, this is looking pretty hopeless, but there are some good top decks. Oh, dude, oh my gosh. We can play the Temple Garden untapped so I don't lose life from the Magus of the Moon. Then we can get rid of the Magus, play the Omnath, and hope that he doesn't have anything else. As Magus of the Moon is on the table, first I'll play my Temple Garden untapped without losing life. Then I'll cast my Solitude, pitching to Fairy Time Raveler. Oh, this is my face of despair, Harry. I will exile the... Uh, why, why the Magus? You have like a lot of other targets to choose from. I know, I know. It's, mm. it's a tough decision, but I have to. And you go to 21. Yep. I will then tap four mana for Omnath. All right. And I will draw a card. You will. Oh, thank you. Uh, I went past the turn, but I'm just uh, loving this. I'm, uh, <laughs> go on, then you can take your turn. <laughs> All right, I'll untap. And now here's where you top deck another mag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I won't take up this ether vial, but I will take a draw. No! This, this is useless this turn. I'll, oh, but I guess I, I just kind of have to do my thing. Um, I'll cast an uncounterable Vlavina. This would have been really good against oh, that solitude. Ooh, okay. Um, and I guess... I'll swing at you. Oh my gosh. Yep. Mm. Okay, Yaman's attacking with his whole board here. He did it instantly. I feel like he's either bluffing Lightning Bolt or has Lightning Bolt. All that matters is that I'm at 13. I can take five damage, go to eight, and then hope to top deck a land to regain four life. Okay, I know what this means. You've always got a Lightning Bolt. I'll take five. <laughs> or no blocks. No blocks, uh, yeah. Take five, down to eight. Go to eight. So the Ragavan triggers, so I get not only a treasure token, yep. but also a card off your library. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, Harry, we, we've talked about the combo of Teferi and Thali already. Yeah. It's a true combo. Um, instead, I guess I'll just cast a Thali as Lieutenant. Sure. So that puts counters on all of these, and then I'll pass the turn. Okay, big draw step. Again. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling a bit risky, but I think the risk is worth it. I'm gonna pay three mana for, pay three mana for ration. Ooh, that's a lot of mana to spend on. A cantrip. Hopefully my Omnath can pull it through. Let's go. Yes. No, yes. Harry, stop getting lucky. <laughs> I okay. dislike that. Okay, my iteration just found a verdict in a fetch land. I think you don't even have to be half decent at magic to know what the play is here. 
Well, I'm gonna put this into my hand, this on the bottom of my deck, and Misty Rainforest into exile. No, don't do it, Harry. <laughs> I'll play my Misty Rainforest and I gain. You will. For a life and go to 12. I will then fetch with Misty Rainforest, going to 11. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get the Trium, and obviously Omnath triggers giving me four colors of mana. It does. And using an extra mana, I will cast Supreme Verdict. Harry, that's not what I came here to do. I came here to put creatures onto the board. No. But it kills my Omnath. <laughs> that's a hugely large cost to pay. <laughs> then I will say go. All right, I'll untap. I'll pull out of this easy peasy, Harry. No worries. Yeah. Um, I'll cast an uncounterable lieutenant. You got it. Go ahead. I'll untap. Draw. I will first... Prismatic ending your Aether Vial. Sure. Then I will cast a Jace. Uh, now, as a smart magic player, I had the read you had Bolt earlier, so I will plus targeting you. Sure. Take a peek. Ooh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that can go on the bottom. All right. I'm ready for a good draw. Go ahead. Good luck. One time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, I'll take you. Take one. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I guess I will start by brainstorming. That, that doesn't sound good for me, Harry. Yeah, this ain't good for you. I can't lie. This is gonna, this is an absolute destruction. Uh, I'm just gonna start making random plays. Red and six, ping your Thalia. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Um, and then I guess with three mana, I'll put Kahira into my head for the flavor <laughs> of it. For the flavor of it, go ahead. Uh, you're truly playing an Elementals deck, Harry. Yeah. Um, can this end already? All right, I'll, I'll play an Inspiring Vantage. Yep. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I will then... Uh, I guess I will put a land from my graveyard into my hand, then into play. Then I guess I will plus on myself and uh, keep it on top. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a bad position here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're casting Kahira? That's just BM. I think this is the end of the game. <laughs> it might be. And then I'll say go. All right, let's see what I can draw. It's a solid one. Mm -hmm. It's a good card in Magic and not, not, even, not even that. It's not even a good card in Magic in general. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap, I will draw. I'll ping it with my Ren and Six. It is gone. I'll attack you for three. Yep. 18. I'll plus on myself. Bottom the land. I'll cast a Fury targeting nothing. Go ahead. I'll cast a Teferi. No, I won't cast, I, I will cast a Teferi by sacrificing uh -huh. my treasure. I guess I will mystical dispute it to make you tap out. <laughs> I will tap out for it. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll bounce the Kahira. You got me. And I'll draw an extra card. Go ahead. Uh. Draw. I will cast Kahira. I'll attack you for eight. Damn. Down to 10. I'll plus on myself. I'll keep it on top. I'll ping the Teferi. Then I'll say go. All right, this might be my final draw step. I'll cast an Adlin, it's uncomfortable. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. Draw. I will cast another Fury. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dealing four damage, and then I will attack you. For 11? It looks to be 11. That's game. Good, games, Good game, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, who even plays with Supreme Verdict in 2021 anymore? Me. Me. I, I guess you do. And he only does so because he got his deck 
from the comments below. So once again, I'll remind you, if you want to see a deck on this show, you better leave it as a comment. Yeah, and as well as while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does support us and the channel and lets us make more of these videos for you guys. It truly does. But for now, we'll see you next week.